Hey, fourth graders, it's Mrs. Spears. Um, this is lesson 10.2, and it's on page 555. Um, it's classify triangles by angles. So yesterday you learned about how to classify angles based on, um, compared to a right angle. So like, remember a right angle looks like this. It makes a perfect square corner. And then an acute angle is anything smaller than that. So anything in here. And an obtuse angle is anything bigger than that up to the straight angle. So anything in here is obtuse. So it just depends on we compare it to the right tri or the right angle. Well, I know I said triangle a lot in the last video, and the reason because of that is we use that information, especially when we're classifying angles, of course, but we really use it when we're classifying different kinds of triangles as well. So it says a triangle is a polygon. Remember, polygon is any shape that closes itself up. It can have any number of sides or angles inside of it. It just has to close itself up. It can't be something hanging open. Um, with three sides and three angles, you can name a triangle by the vertices of its angles. So we name triangles based on their endpoints or their vertices. Remember when we were doing the angles, we said that the point that they meet up together is called the vertex. So a vertice is just the plural version of that. It's more than one vertex. We don't say vertexes. Um, we say vertices, which are the the points. So this triangle actually goes by six different names. N triangles, what's important to name them with is that you use the triangle symbol and you include all three vertices in the name. It doesn't matter what order you put them in because no matter what order it is, it still describes that triangle. Somebody may look at this and go, oh, well, that's triangle A, B, C. But you might look at it and go, oh, well, that's triangle C, A, B. It's naming the same triangle still. It's just different ways to do it. So the angle of a triangle can be right, acute, or obtuse. So I'm going to do this activity down here. You do need some colored pencils with you for this one, or, pen, or markers, or crayons, or whatever you've got handy. If you don't have any of those things, you can just use R, B, and O and put those in the middle. Um, so it says use a triangle color guide to color the triangles below. So inside each triangle you have different kinds of angles. Some triangles have obtuse angles in them. Some have right triangle or right angles in them. Some of them have um, acute angles in them. You just kind of have to look at all three angles and decide from there. So I always look at the biggest angle in the triangle to make a decision. Um, so for example, if we look at this triangle here, it's got Definitely two acute angles on it because they're definitely small on those. This one looks like it could be a right triangle or it could be an obtuse triangle because I'm not sure what size angle this is. So I'm going to draw in a fake right angle. So here's my straight line on the bottom. I'm going to draw a straight line to that. So I can tell, okay, so this angle in this triangle right here is definitely bigger than a right angle, which makes this an obtuse triangle. Okay. So, um, a triangle that's got one obtuse angle is going to be blue. So, I'm going to color that one in with blue. Like I said, if you don't have a blue, you can just put a B on there. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's see if we can find any more like that. That one is a right triangle. So are these guys because they all have their little right angle symbols on them. So I'm going to come back to those in a little bit. This one has all acute angles. You can tell that pretty easily. They're all the same angle. Also, if you draw a fake right angle, they're definitely smaller than that. So I'm going to come back to those ones here in a little bit. I'm trying to find all the blue ones first. So let's try this one. There's my bottom line, my fake right angle. This one, this angle is bigger than that, so that means that this is an obtuse one. Okay. And I haven't checked out either of these guys yet. So that one is really small, so I know that that one's an acute angle. This one, so here's my straight side. Draw my right angle. This one is smaller than my right angle. Oops, it's kind of hard to see. It's like that. You can see it's smaller than the right angle. So this is an acute. This is small. So that one's not an obtuse one. 
And this one, let's try this one. So here's my straight line. I'm going to draw a straight line exactly to that other one. This angle is bigger than this right angle here. So that means this whole one right here has an obtuse angle in it. All right, cool. I think that's all of those. It says red ones are ones with one right angle. So I'm gonna go ahead and color all the right angle ones red. Okay, if you don't have a red, just put an R in there. And these ones, when we did the drawings on them, we realized all of these angles are smaller than a right angle, which means that it has three acute angles, three small ones, so I'm gonna color those orange. So it says, name the triangle with one right angle from these guys. So we're gonna use kind of this idea to help us with this. So this help we classify them. We're putting them into groups based on what they have in common. So name the triangle with one right angle. So if we look through these triangles on here, this is the only one with a right angle. So I'm going to draw this as triangle RPQ. Remember, it could be in any order you want. So you could do triangle QPR or PQR, however you want to do it. It doesn't matter as long as you have all three points in your name. Name the triangle with one obtuse angle. This one's too small, any of these to be obtuse. This guy, if we look here, use the right angle test. That one's bigger than a right angle. Oops, sorry. This one's bigger than a right angle. And then that makes that one with the obtuse angle. So this would be triangle X, Y, Z. And name the triangle with three acute angles. It's like this one, A, B, and C. Again, the order doesn't matter as long as you're talking about the right triangle that fits it. All right, turn the page. So this is an acute triangle is a triangle with three acute angles. So all of these, all triangles have acute angles in them. Um, but it only becomes an acute triangle if all three of the angles have are acute. Or they're smaller than 90 degrees. Or not the right angle. We have 90 degrees, yeah. Um, an obtuse triangle is a triangle with one obtuse angle in it. And a right triangle has one right angle in it. So when I'm classifying triangles, I always think about, okay, does it have a right angle first? If it doesn't have a right angle, I draw one in to kind of see, okay, does the big angle, is it bigger or smaller than um, a right angle size? And if it's bigger, then it makes it obtuse. And if it's not bigger, then I can just assume that the rest of them are acute as well. So all triangles have two acute angles in them. But to make it acute, it has to have all three acute angles. So I would test for these two first and then come back to that. And that's kind of what I was doing on the last page. So this one says, use a Venn diagram to classify the triangles. So I'm going to go through and figure out, I'm going to list all my acute triangles down here, all the right triangles and all the obtuse triangles. Like I said, I always test for right triangles first, and then I look for the obtuse ones, and anything left is probably an acute triangle. So these ones already drew in a couple right triangles for me. So I'm going to put these two on my list down here. So this is triangle PQR. Okay, done that one. And this one is triangle BCD. So then I've got these ones left. So I look and see, okay, I look and see ones I got big angles in them. These ones kind of look like they do. This one definitely has a bigger angle in it. But I'm going to use my right angle test just to make sure. And yep, it says it's bigger. So this one is an obtuse triangle which means it's triangle H-I-G. So that one's done. Look at this one. This one's got a big angle in it, so let me test that one out. 
So let's see here. Here's my long side. Turn it around. And I draw my right triangle, my fake right triangle in there. It's kind of weird. Here's my right angle. This is bigger than the right angle. So it's triangle D, F, E in the obtuse section. Okay, this one looks like it maybe has a bigger angle in it. So here's the straight side. I'm going to draw the fake one. Yep, this one's bigger than this is, than the right angle is. So this is triangle WVX. That one's done. If I look at all of these ones, they all look to be smaller than um, 90 degrees, but I would double check ones that maybe look close. Okay, so this one, this one kind of looks like it might be somewhat close to it. Nope, it's smaller. Same with this one. It's smaller. Same with that one. So, and same thing with these guys. These are all the angles and these are smaller than the right angle. So that makes all three of those acute triangles. So this is triangle RST. Triangle ABC. And triangle LMN. So what this was really trying to get you to see is there are three different kinds of triangles, okay? Um, some of them have a right angle, some have an obtuse angle in them, and some of them have all three acute angles in them. So like I said, test for these guys first, and then whatever is left over is an acute triangle probably. All right, I'm on page 557. It says, name the triangle, tell whether each angle is acute, right, or obtuse. So this says a name for this triangle is, and notice it says a name for the triangle. There's no exact right answer to this one. There's like six different possibilities. So I always just put the, the right angle in the middle. It does, we don't have to, I just usually do. So this is gonna be triangle. I'm gonna say F G H. But you could have done it as FHG or HGF, however you want to do it is fine. Angle F is, ooh, that one's pretty small. We'll double check it. There's a right angle. So angle F is here. It's smaller than the right angle, which means this is an acute angle. Angle G, oh, that one. All right, and the um, angle on this one is angle H. That one looks to be an acute angle, but to double check it, I'm gonna do a fake right angle right here. Yeah, and angle H is smaller. So that would be an acute angle. So this is classify each triangle, right, acute, right, or obtuse. So look at this one. And this one looks to be an obtuse angle in this big one over here, but I'm going to double check it. So here's my straight side. Here's my fake right angle. This angle is bigger than that. So that makes an obtuse angle. Same thing here. This one looks pretty big, but I'm going to double check. So here's my bottom side. My fake right angle. This one's definitely bigger. And then this one, they're all smaller than 90 degrees. This one looks pretty close to 90 degrees, but if I were to draw my fake right angle to it, here's my right angle, here's that angle right here, it's smaller. So all of these are smaller, which makes it an acute triangle. So I want you to pause the video and I want you to try five, six, seven, and eight. Eight asks you to look at all these and figure out, there's three of them that are, that are in common with each other and there's one that doesn't fit. So see if you can figure out which one that is. So go ahead and pause it. Here's your answers. This one has a right triangle in it, or a right angle in it, so that makes it a right triangle. This one, they're all smaller than a right angle, so that makes it an acute triangle. 
and this one has a right angle in it as well so it makes it a right triangle now if you look at all of these this one has an obtuse angle that has an obtuse angle that has an obtuse angle this one has all acute angles so this is the one that doesn't fit because it's the only triangle that is not obtuse. Okay. I'm going to do, just skip on down to this last part for you because I'm going to make sure your video stays at a good length. Um, so I'm going to do these ones with you just to practice some classifying just a little bit more. It says write the letter of the triangle under its correct classification. Again, I like to just go through and knock out all the right angle triangles first because those ones are pretty easy to spot. These two are the only two with the right angle symbol in them. So I'm going to put them in the right triangle box. So that's C and E. These two very clearly have obtuse angles on them. So here, you can just double check, double check. Yep, those are bigger. So that's D and F. And that's A and B. These are both acute triangles. So if you join me for Zoom today, I'll go ahead and do this next page with you. Um, if you have any questions, just send me a message and I'll get back with you and help you out. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.